And every single time that you have a herniated disc episode in your neck, you are further degenerating and permanently damaging your joint in your neck. I had a patient come in last week who had an episode in January, had his second episode right now. And he's like, I just have a muscle spasm. I was gonna go back to the massage therapist. I'm like, no, this is not a muscle spasm. This is a disc episode and your disc is tearing from the inside. And every single time that you have a herniated disc episode in your neck, you are further degenerating and permanently damaging your joint in your neck. So you want to spend as much time, energy, money, and all of your attention on focusing on this problem so that this episode doesn't happen again. When someone's having one of these actively inflamed herniated disc episodes in their neck, it'll be very troublesome to move. Typically at Burford Rehab or when you see an adhesion release methods provider, they're gonna do seven or eight neck tests. They are upper cervical flexion, so against this little block right here, and they tuck their chin in, you should have 25 degrees. Cervical flexion should be 60 degrees. CT flexion should be 90 degrees. Cervical rotation to the left should be 90 degrees. Rotation to the right should be 90 degrees. Biceps should touch the head. And then thoracic flexion should have no flat spots more than two and a half inches. And then they're gonna rotate, it should be 55 degrees. 55 degrees, all of those ranges of motion. When they try to move their neck, they're gonna try to tuck in, they're not gonna like it. Down, not gonna like it. Left, not gonna like it. Right, not gonna like it. That's super important because people always think it's a muscle spasm. And usually these episodes last between two to 10 days and they start getting better. And because they get better so abruptly, people pretty much ignore them and go to living their lives. So you wanna make sure that you don't just ignore them going and living your life. You wanna get all the rem adhesion removed so that you can get permanent pain relief and you could prevent this episode from ever happening again. So pay attention to your ranges of motion if you're actively in a muscle spasm and just tell yourself you have a disc episode in your neck. If you want to learn more about chronic pain relief and adhesion release methods, hit the like, hit the subscribe, stay tuned every Tuesday and Friday for new videos coming right to you, and I can't wait to connect with you.